thermoscientific Forma Stericult CO2 incubator is a premier choice for use in a cell therapy setting. Learn how easy it is to clean and disinfect. Before beginning, move all cultures to a different CO2 incubator. It is best to switch off the CO2 incubator power during cleaning. Stericult CO2 incubators are designed with shelves and supports that are easily removable without tools, and the CTS series features an electro-polished stainless steel interior which reduces microscopic structures to minimize areas where microorganisms could hide. Let's get started. Remove the shelves, shelf supports and shelf rails, and set aside for later cleaning, or if you prefer, send them to the autoclave for sterilization. Of course, aside from regular maintenance cleaning and disinfection of the incubator, any spilled growth media should be cleaned immediately to eliminate the chance that microorganisms could grow in that area. Use an approved disinfectant wipe containing 10% or less quaternary ammonium or 3% hydrogen peroxide or a combination of 1% hydrogen peroxide, 0.8% per acetic acid, and less than 10% acetic acid. For example, spore cleanse ready-to-use disinfectant wipes from Steris Biosciences. For all disinfectants, follow the manufacturer's recommendations for use and dwell time, and in all cases, we recommend following with 70% ethanol or 70% isopropanol to remove the disinfectant residues. The table shown here lists recommended disinfectants. Gloves and eye protection should always be worn when handling chemical disinfectants. In midair, fold the cloth in half, then fold in half again so it is folded in quarters. Hold the folded cloth between thumb and four fingers so that the fold is toward the surface to be cleaned and the edges are facing the palm of the hand. There are many different types of surface cleaners with different compositions and concentrations. The level of risk varies with the chemical and concentration, but in every case, it is important to check the safety data sheet and manufacturer's recommendations for use. Starting at the furthest spot and at the top of the area to be cleaned, wipe in a straight line toward you. Now, refold the cloth to expose a new unused side and repeat the straight line wipe, overlapping no more than 10 to 20% of the previous straight line wipe. At the end of each stroke, lift the wipe completely and cleanly from the surface. Repeat this until the cloth has been used eight times and no side has been used more than once. Then discard the used cloth and take a new disposable cloth wipe. Continue until all surfaces have been cleaned and disinfected. If a disinfectant other than 70% ethanol or 70% isopropanol was used, repeat these steps with one of these disinfectants to remove any remaining residues. Starting with the back pilasters, carefully wipe each with the disinfectant. Allow the disinfectant to work for a few minutes, then follow with 70% ethanol or 70% isopropanol. Then install the parts in the incubator chamber. Next, carefully wipe each shelf with the disinfectant. Allow the disinfectant to work for a few minutes, then follow with 70% ethanol or 70% isopropanol, then install the shelves in the incubator chamber. Starting with the top inner corner, wipe the door gaskets. Then wipe the inside of the glass door. Allow a few minutes for the disinfectant to work. The length of this time interval depends on your disinfectant choice and the manufacturer's recommendations. Then follow with 70% ethanol or 70% isopropanol and close the inner glass door. Following the same procedure, starting at the top inner corner, wipe the gasket and interior of the outer heated door. Close the door when complete. When the interior cleaning and disinfection is complete, be sure to clean and disinfect the exterior in the same way. The top of the incubator is too difficult to reach Consider using a clean room mop with disinfectant to reach these areas. Continue to wipe back to front, top to bottom in a straight line motion, overlapping no more than 10 to 20% of the previous wipe. As with all processes in a clean room setting and in accordance with ISO 14644 13, all cleaning and disinfection practices must be validated. 
For example, use a wipe test or swab test following the procedure to document effectiveness of the process. When complete, switch on the power. If desired, initiate the 140 degrees Celsius sterilization cycle at this time. Refer to the user manual for more information, including steps to take before operating the sterilization cycle, such as removal of the in-chamber HEPA filter and the sensors. Thank you for your interest in proper cleaning and disinfection of Stericult CO2 incubators. We hope this information is helpful and we wish you success in your process.